Now turn the lights, my dears, and we'll be off. Merry Christmas, Abigail! Merry Christmas, Robin! Here's your stocking. Hooray! It's a jackknife! A Santa fruit cake! They give me a piece. Wait, I'll break it in half. Merry Christmas, children. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Mama and Papa. <laughs> Wake up, Papa. It's Christmas morning. It can't be morning. I just went to bed. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look in your stocking. That is Mama. Aw, a potato. <laughs> Lots of coal. You always get coal for Christmas, don't you, Papa? And Mama always gets a potato. Now run along, children, to the playroom and look at the Christmas tree. But remember, no opening presents till after we're dressed. I know what they'll be. Books and games and parasols and dolls' houses. And skates and sleds and sets of watercolors. Little easels and raincoats. And, and dozens, dozens of ties for Papa. <laughs> blindfold and look and see who's a smarty. But how can it be? Christmas was yesterday. You got a jackknife and I got a Santa fruit cake. I can't help that. I got a jackknife and you got a Santa fruit cake again today. See? Oh no, do you think I'll get a stomach cake again like yesterday too? If you eat too much of it, you will. I won't. What's the meaning of this? Christmas trees blazing away in the playroom. The presents piled up a mile high. It seems to me we did this yesterday. Or did I dream it? Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. expense. Now we'll have to pay for everything all over again. We'll be bankrupt if this keeps up. This keeps up? Is Christmas going to be every day? Christmas every day? Abigail, look, there's a card I found on the, on the ground. It must have fallen out of your stocking. And it has your name on it. I'm going to go look at the Christmas tree. Dear Abigail, after careful consideration, beginning December 25th, Everyone in the next 365 days shall be Christmas. Oh my goodness gracious, it's from the Christmas fairy. I won't tell anyone about this, not even Mama. I'm just going to keep this a secret. What fun!
charging $2,000 a turk. Great, Scott. I'm sure I saw some of the evaluation yesterday for one bell. That was yesterday. What? Cranberries? The dime of each? It's highway robbery. I know, dear, but I know how much you love your cranberry sauce. I only bought one. Not at that price, you shouldn't. I'll be satisfied with potatoes. That's another thing. We used all the potatoes to stuff the toes of our stockings. We barely have enough left, left for Sunday supper. It's the same thing with the coal mines. They're wiped clean out. What are people supposed to live on, Dora? Roots? There's no fruit anywhere. All well, the orchards and woods are being cut down with Christmas trees. <laughs> that reminds me. Mrs. Willby is sending Jenny over to give me a Christmas tree pattern. A pattern? Yes, a pattern. You stuff it with old, old rags. It's made out of old rags and you stuff it with sawdust, like an old-fashioned doll. Here comes Jenny now. Jenny, Jenny, in here. Here's the pattern, Mrs. Phillips. Mom's going to have any trouble figuring it out. She'll be glad to help you. It looks simple enough. I think I'll be able to figure it out. My people here. Everyone back home is getting fast and faster. We do remember in that sort of thing. Well, we here have lost our tempers too, Jenny. And nearly our voices saying Merry Christmas so much. I just don't say it anymore. Who would have thought we'd been saying Merry Christmas on Valentine's Day, Washington's birthday, and now the 4th of July? At least I'll have a present for fake money for whole day. That was a relief. Yes. Jenny! Jenny! That's Mom. After I sent the Declaration of Independence at Soldier's Monument this afternoon, it's not going to get ready. One of the courses of human events is going to be necessary to deck the house with stuff for shopping, blah, 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 blah. I have to go and shovel the presents off the sidewalk. I don't want Constable Duggan hauling me into court for a check in the public way. Yippee! 
It's over. Christmas is over. It's positively over. What is it, Robin? What are the bells whistling? Christmas is over, Abigail. You really mean it? You know, upstairs there's lumpy old stockings, another single solitary minute. Oh, joy. Don't throw them there. Why not? Because up on Dairy Hill, they're making a huge bonfire with all of the stockings. Um, how about you go and take all the stockings and load them in the wagon and finish them?
six in a row out of the kitchen, but you can't take the kitchen out of six in a row. Mm -hmm. I'm not following. I'm a business like Bella, conservative, fast, investments, things like that. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I, know I, I need a wife who's clever, sense, intelligent, and sensible. Cinderella doesn't need a modern person like me. She's somebody from the past. I can't get away from those cinders. She actually likes the fireplace. Here, here. <laughs> or she's turned that wonderful glass slipper into a planter. A planter? Yeah, she has to fill the dead room during it. Oh, my. Before I got married, I used to, I used to keep that being lonesome was a man's face. Things are that bad. I'll show you. Cinderella, what are you doing here?
casserole banquet, she fell asleep in the appetizer, a lot to give considerable thought. A man like me doesn't need a woman who sleeps all day. I need someone spirited, enchanted. You mean enchanted? Wait outside, Miss Ling. Uh, I, I mean, Prince Ling. I'll think of something. You'd better. Things not going so well? I have no ideas. I have no idea what uh, they were in such a sorry state. The temperaments are so different. What am I going to do? That's what I want to know. Lucy, your next appointment. I don't seem to recognize her. It's the Pod Princess. The Pod Princess? Don't you remember? You ran her off to a frog. A frog? You're talking about my husband, I gather. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot for the moment. Forgive me. But I have so many in the book. Do you understand? I have to hear him get him nasty. The whole thing he is. You mean what? Today, thanks to the encounter, that frog is now a happy and well-adjusted prince! And that's now then what am I doing here? Better let me handle this, Miss Frog. Tell the others to be patient. Come on, Miss Frog. I prefer to stand. As you wish. The idea! The very idea! You ought to be ashamed! You're bitter about something. First of all, your hair's defied, your mare's up, and then abandon us. You're being unfair. After all, <clears throat> we learn from each other. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, these things happen, and we must be mature enough to accept them. A man can live his frog for years and years and change him in ice. What is it that he does specifically that annoys you? Croaks. He croaks? Pond Princess, in a vulgar choice of word, are you informing me that your husband has passed on? No, 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 he croaks. Croak, 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 like a frog. Croak, croak, croak. There, see it for yourself. Oh, dear, I hope you don't enjoy it. Croak. Can't be more, I have been.
That's your answer. And all the problem prince wants to do is sit and croak. And Wesley croak. This is not taking up. So uh sit your beauty in the front.
the academy, hoping to make a good impression his first day on the road. The time is just a few weeks before Christmas, and the place is, of course, the North Pole. Everyone's scrambling to have everything ready for Santa and the biggest night of the year. Randolph is understandably a little bit unsure of himself. Let's look in on the workshop right now.
back to the Elf Academy for retraining. No! Please, Santa! Give me a chance to... to fix it! Oh, come on, Santa. You're just a kid. Take it easy on him, Santa. Well, all right. I'll give you a child tomorrow morning to get this old of yours working. But if it's not fixed, it's back to the Elf Academy. Oh, don't worry, Santa. I'll figure it out. I promise! Quitting time, everyone. I just don't understand it. The robot worked before I showed it to Santa. Don't give up. Oh, I can't give up. Or I'll spend the rest of my life at the Elf Academy. Hey, kid, look on the bright side. He could have sent you to the coal factory. Thanks a lot, Ralph. Ah, oh, sorry, kid. Just trying to cheer you up a bit. See you in the morning, Randolph. Well, 